In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we produce a cumulative frequency curve and a histogram for continuous data. So in this example, we're using some speed camera data. So basically, a speed camera has been used to check the speed of vehicles as they pass by. We have a frequency column, and if you recall, the frequency is the number of time an event occurs, or in this case, the number of times a vehicle is travelling at a given speed. So we have a number of different speed groups or categories, and in total, at the bottom of that column, the speeds of 232 vehicles have been checked. Now when it comes to the vehicle speed column, we notice we've got some new notation. So the first group right at the top states that 0 is less than or equal to n, which is less than 25. Now what we're basically saying there is that the speed of the vehicle, which we're calling n, is in the range between 0 and 25. It's greater than or equal to 0, but it's less than 25. Therefore, that group would be applicable for any speeds from 0 to 24.99 miles per hour. But as soon as we reach 25 miles per hour, we would drop into the next group. Because the next group is for speeds of greater than or equal to 25 miles per hour, but less than 40 miles per hour. So that accounts for any speed from 25 miles per hour up to 39.99 miles per hour. As soon as we reach 40 miles per hour, we would drop into the next group. This notation here shows us that n is greater than 0 because n is on the larger side of the symbol. And it also shows us that n is less than 25 because n is on the lower side of that symbol between n and 25. So whichever letter or number is on the larger side of the symbol is the larger of the two numbers. If we just repeat that for the second group, here we have n on the larger side of the symbol between n and 25, therefore n is greater than or equal to 25, but we have it on the smaller end of the symbol between n and 40, meaning that it's smaller than 40. The additional line underneath the symbol means greater than or equal to, meaning in the case of this group here, 25 is the threshold, n is greater than or equal to 25, or 25 and upwards. Now first of all we're going to plot the cumulative frequency graph, and if you recall, a cumulative frequency graph is essentially a less than graph. So we would have a cumulative frequency for vehicles travelling less than 25 miles per hour, less than 40 miles per hour, less than 45 miles per hour, and so on. So when we plot the cumulative frequency graph, we're plotting the cumulative frequency against the upper limit of each of these groups. So the upper limit of the first group, and I'm going to add it to this column here, the upper limit is 25. The upper limit of the second group is 40. Then we have 45, 50, 55, 60, and 100. And all I've done is take those from the upper boundary of each of these groups. Now the cumulative frequency, the number of vehicles travelling at a speed of less than 25 is all vehicles in this group. And in this example, there's zero vehicles travelling less than 25 miles per hour. Vehicles travelling less than 40 miles per hour will be all of the vehicles travelling less than 25, which in this case is zero, plus all of the vehicles travelling between 25 and 40, which in this case is 12. So our cumulative frequency is 12. Next we have all vehicles travelling less than 45 miles per hour. Well all vehicles travelling less than 45 miles per hour is the sum of these three here. Because we have vehicles travelling 0 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 45. As a combined group, that's vehicles travelling between 0 and 45 miles per hour. 0 plus 12 plus 29 is 41. Next we have vehicles travelling less than 50. Well, vehicles travelling less than 50 is all of the vehicles travelling between 0 miles per hour up to 50 miles per hour. So it's the sum of those four numbers there. Now what we can do, we know the sum of those three numbers is 41. So all we need to do is add 64 to that number. So 41 plus 64 is 105. 
Next, we have all the vehicles traveling 55 or less. So we need to include an additional 77 vehicles, which will take us up to 182. Next, we need all of the vehicles traveling less than 60 miles per hour. So we need to include another 34 vehicles in our cumulative sum. So adding 34 to that gives us 216. And finally, we need all of our vehicles traveling 100 miles per hour or less, which is basically all of the vehicles. None of the vehicles are traveling more than 100 miles per hour. So we need to add the additional 16 on to our 216, giving us 232. And what we notice is that our cumulative frequency for vehicles traveling less than 100 miles per hour is the same as our total frequency of 232, which accounts for all of the vehicles. So next we're going to plot the cumulative frequency curve, and what we're going to be plotting is the upper limit of each group against the cumulative frequency column. So I'm going to hide the columns that we don't need for this example, and then we're going to plot those on our cumulative frequency graph. Okay, so on the left hand side of the screen we have our data, we have our speed groups, 0 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 45 and so on. We have the upper limit of each of those groups and then we have the cumulative frequency. And we have our axes set up. On the x-axis we have our speed ranging from 0 to 100 and on the y-axis we have our cumulative frequencies. We also have a title vehicle speed data. Now just to explain what's going on here. Basically what I've done is I've concertinaed the axis and I've concertinaed the axis so that I can fit all of my data on a page. Now in this example, the reason I can concertina my data is because I know I have no speed data at speeds less than 25. Therefore the starting point for my data on this x-axis is going to be here when the speed equals 25. So nothing occurs at speeds between 0 and 20. So I've removed that section of the axis. OK, so now we can start plotting our data. So the number of vehicles traveling less than 25 miles per hour was zero. So we go to 25 miles per hour and the cumulative frequency is zero. The number of vehicles traveling less than 40 miles an hour was 12. So we go to 40 miles an hour and on our axes we're looking for 12, which is there. Next, we have vehicles traveling less than 45 miles per hour, and there were 41 of those. So we locate 45 miles per hour on our speed, and 41 on our cumulative frequency is there. Vehicles traveling less than 50 was 105, so we go 105. Vehicles traveling less than 55 was 182, so we go 182 is there. Vehicles travelling less than 60 was 216. So we go there. And vehicles travelling less than 100 miles per hour was 232, which is there. Now to finish our cumulative frequency graph, all we need to do is connect those points. And there we have our completed cumulative frequency graph. Now the huge advantage or the huge benefit of plotting a cumulative frequency graph is that we can determine the median average from that graph. What we know is 232 vehicles passed our speed camera. If we can find the middle of that, so 232 divided by 2 is 116, then what we're looking for is the speed of the 116th car if all of those vehicles were lined up in order. And what we can do is refer to our cumulative frequency column and locate 116, which sits here. And to determine our median speed, all we need to do is track across to our cumulative frequency line. So I'm just going to use a dashed line going across here.
and then where we hit our cumulative frequency line, we can track downwards to determine our median speed or the median average speed. And what we see in this case is that median average speed is 50 miles per hour. So median average speed equals 50 miles per hour. So there we have our cumulative frequency graph along with our median speed for that set of data.